Hey guys, happy Monday. Yes, it is a Monday and it feels like a Monday. It's already noon and I've done nothing but wake up and eat. <laughs> I wake up, I woke up and ate breakfast. That is it. And yes, they're still working on the fire pit. Oh, here he is right here. <laughs> Let me open these curtains. Yes, yes, he's back. Now, if you guys remember, um, I move my couch here so I can open. If you remember, last week on Monday, they were starting the fire pit. Yes. They were starting the fire pit. And they told me, oh, you'll be having fires in it Tuesday night. Well, we're to another Monday. And they're just finishing up. <laughs> Yes, just finishing up. So anyways, but we have enjoyed, oh sorry, the light is so strong coming in, guys. Um, uh, we have enjoyed two fires. My husband and I enjoyed, and the kids enjoyed, an enjoyed a fire, sorry, I can't speak. I'm still tired. Like I said in one of my last videos, I'm going through, through some things and I would talk about it, but it's, um, I don't think men would want to hear about it. And I know men watch my channel. <laughs> so anyways, it, basically premenopausal symptoms. Yes. Um, I would love to talk about it, but I don't think, uh, cause I'd love to know, um, what the ladies who watch this channel, who are my age or have been through it, um, have went through. I would love to know and get some advice, but I really don't want to talk about it because I know men watch the channel and I know younger people watch the channel and they're probably thinking, I don't want to hear about this. <laughs> so yeah, um, but I've been having this brain fog. Um, my daughter even said, mom, it seems like you pause all the time in your videos. Like you can't spit it out. And I said, I know I'm having like brain fog. Like I know what I want to say, but it like won't come out my mouth. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else experienced that or not um, going through this. If you have, let me know. So yeah, um, we had a fire in it with the kids and then last night my daughter had some friends over and had a fire out there. I still need to put away their, um, they made some hobo pies. It looked like they were going to make s'mores, but it doesn't look like they opened the bag of marshmallows. It looks like they just ate a candy bar. <laughs> and she bought these I thought was funny because we have some uh, uh, roasters to put, uh, put marshmallows on to roast the marshmallows. And she bought these skewers. I was like, you thought you were going to roast marshmallows on these things? I said, you would have burnt your hands. <laughs> She's like, I didn't know we had some. So someone asked me a long time ago when I talked about hobo pies, wondered what it was. You get those cast iron um, uh, pie makers. They can either be circles or squares. And they have the long handle and you stick them in the fire. You can make more than just pies in those. Um, but you use two pieces of bread, butter each side, kind of like a grilled cheese, and then stuff it with whatever pie filling you like. She it looks like she bought apple and cherry. And they make awesome pies over the fire. They are so good. So yeah, that's what we call hobo pies. I don't know if people call them something else. Just probably pies, but we call them hobo pies. So so we've gotten to enjoy a couple fires and the boys enjoyed sitting out there. I think they like the um, brick around it. We made like a patio to sit our chairs on. And I think they enjoy being out there a lot more because when we're out there, of course the dew sets in and the ground gets wet, so they like laying on that brick and sitting there around the fire um, with us better at this fire pit. So it's been nice, the, the fire we've been able to have. <laughs> I know we'll have many more and... <laughs> and it will be done tonight. And hopefully I won't have any more... Um... Come on. Let's go in the front room. Let's go, come on. Um, I need more workers in my backyard for a while. That's why I wanted it done. Okay, okay. 
my daughter's friend Ava. Hi, Ava. Um, we met her last night. She was at the fire and she watches our channel and she was so excited to meet the boys. <laughs> my, my husband and I were in here. Um, I was watching the, I had recorded Fear the Walking Dead. And we were watching that here in the dark last night while they were outside enjoying the fire. And she came in to meet the boys. And she was so excited to meet them. But all, of course, all they did was want to bark, especially this one. Yes. And Ava asked, she said her mom asked, how do we keep the boys' uh, beards so straight? Uh, she wondered if I used a flat iron. No. And like I told Ava last night, I said, if the light was on, it wasn't dark in here. Uh, from watching our show, you would see that their beards are crazy right now. <laughs> they are not always straight <laughs> and nice and neat looking. Come here, Miggy. Come show Ava your beard. Come show her. See? It's crazy. <laughs> yes. It's crazy. It's not straight. Just got to brush them and I wash their beards every couple days so they look pretty. Yeah. Yes, so their beards aren't always beautiful. No. No, they're not. <laughs> so it's nice to meet you, Ava. Yes. The boys enjoyed meeting you too, especially Magna. Magna wanted to give her a ton of kisses. <laughs> so yeah, so today, what do I got to do today? I have to clean my house. I've done nothing because I have not been feeling the greatest. Um, these boxes have been sitting here for, I think, four days now. <laughs> They've just been sitting here because I need to rearrange some stuff. Um, I need to do some laundry. I need to clean up my kitchen. Um, I'm not doing much today. Um, I need to clean the floors, vacuum them, sweep them, mop them. I need to do all that today. So not a very exciting day, but I'll take you along during our day and uh, we'll check in in a bit. <laughs> Look at Milo. Are you watching them working in your backyard? Are you watching them work? They're almost done. They are, I don't know, they're uh, putting all the dirt around the um, patio part of the fire pit. So I think they're almost done, finally. Finally, Milo, finally. Yes, okay, so I got my laundry going, but my kitchen has exploded. <laughs> Does this happen to you guys? Um, I, I think, oh, I'm just going to clean, you know, or going to do a little bit of organizing while well, it's turned into moving stuff around, putting this here, changing this here, and now I have a mess going on. And look at all these dental bones. <laughs> I order five bags a month from Chewy.com. <laughs> there's 40 in a bag, and it takes about five bags if I give them all one a day for the month so and I have a couple extra all right sorry about that Magnum's barking at the workers um I have a couple extra due to if you remember when we lived in our old house one of my chewy.com orders got delivered to our neighbor and we didn't know so I called chewy.com and said hey I never received my package so they sent me my shipment again well then our neighbor a couple days later said hey I got your shipment so I had gotten double the double the product so I have a couple extra so um when I showed where I was keeping all the extras of this in my utility closet someone said you shouldn't keep that food in there with all the chemicals which I agree. So now I'm moving them. I was trying to wait until I got um, uh, a buffet for right here, which we did order one. It should be here in the next couple weeks. Um, I was I was trying to wait until I got the buffet because I wanted to move some of my kitchen stuff into the buffet that's going here, so I could put um, all my dog stuff and cat stuff down here. I'm gonna leave these storage containers. On, th on this shelf here because I have nowhere else to put them so all the rest of this space will be all dog and cat supplies so now I'm trying to decide what I want to do with this instapot you guys if you've been watching my channel for a long time some of you may know that my husband bought me this and I was very excited but guess what guys all I've ever done in this <laughs> is made hard boil eggs and I've never made anything else 
I don't foresee me ever making anything else. I already have a crock pot, which is down here, that I love. Um, I don't see me using it for slow cooking. So now I'm in this dilemma, what do I do with it? Should I keep it? But I know I'm never gonna probably use it. Um, should I gift it to someone? I think may be able to use it but I've been thinking in my mind who would I give it to that I think would use it and get good use out of it and it wouldn't just sit on the shelf I'm not sure or should I try to sell it on the Facebook marketplace because I'm already out the money because it's just sitting on my shelf not being used um, so yeah I don't want it I know I don't want it I'm never gonna use it <laughs> So now I just got to figure if I'm just going to give it to someone, if I can figure out who I would give that to or sell it, but it's got to go because it just takes up way too much room and I'm never going to use it. So I think the Instant Pot is probably great for working moms, big families, stuff like that. I just, my kids are older. They're both adults now. Um, half of the time we're not eating dinner together. It's just usually my husband and I. I don't need to make big meals. Um, yeah, so I don't need it anymore. There's a couple things I'm like this thing. Uh, my mother-in-law gave me. I've never used this. Never. And I don't foresee myself ever using it because I just, I don't, I don't make anything that I need it for. <laughs> I got to get rid of that. I don't use that cheese grater sitting there. Um, yeah, so there's just some things. It's like, why hang on to it? It's been sitting in my cupboard for over two years, unused. Why do I have it? <laughs> I'm obviously not gonna change up or make anything in my menu planning that I'm gonna need this stuff. So yeah, I gotta get rid of it because I need room for all this dog stuff. <laughs> Oh, and my cat really likes these things. My daughter picked these up. They're little, like, individually packaged um, pieces of chicken. And he really likes these. Oh, and I also wanted to thank, speaking of kitten, I wanted to thank whoever told me about um, Arm & Hammer Slide cat litter. Oh, my goodness. I love that cat litter. <laughs> I am so happy you told me about it. Nothing sticks in the cat box. Um, I can tell that when I want to clean the cat box out totally, like dump everything out and wash it down, that's, that cat litter is just going to slide out to where before everything would be clumped on the sides and it was just disgusting. So I can't remember who told me about it, but thank you so much for telling me about that cat litter. I think Kitty likes it too. What are you doing, Kitty? <laughs> I thought he was just about to play with Miggy. Thought he was about to play with you, Miggy. Oh, <laughs> Miggy says, uh-uh, he ain't playing with me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dogs are like, what's going on? What's that cat doing? What's that kitty doing? I think he's trying to play with Miggy. <laughs> his tail. And Miggy's running. Miggy's like, uh-uh, that cat's hit me too many times in the face. No. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'll come back when I get it all organized. All right, guys, I've got all of the dog food and dog treats all in the cupboards out in the kitchen now instead of in the utility closet. Everything is cleaned up except for some things I'm either gonna sell or donate here on top of my stove. Max is checking out the dog cupboard. <laughs> I've got my storage containers here. I'm leaving those there. I've got some small ones that are all in the fridge right now from dinner last night that usually sit right here. Got our dog food that just came in this past shipment that was sitting out there in the laundry room for four days. <laughs> I've been ordering the 30 pound bag and the 15 pound bag and that gets me through the month with just a little bit. This is what I have to spare here. Just probably that much right there left of dog food. So a 15 pound and 30 pound bag has been getting me through the, mo the month uh, per for the most part with the boys. Um, I got their milk bones here. I have the minis and then the size small. I give them one mini when I put them in their crate if I have to leave the house or I need them to go in their crates if someone's coming over. 
to get one of those. Uh, and then the size small, I've been buying these peanut butter flavor. They get those at night when they go to bed, just one. And then I have all their dental treats down on the bottom. Uh, Kitten's little, those chicken treats I was showing you. And then these are some freeze, freeze dried beef liver treats. Um, they say they're just, they're for dogs, but Kitten eats them too, he loves them. And then up in this white basket here, I have Kitten's um, urinary, urinary tract formula, canned kitty food I give him for dinner. And then way in the back, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, Yes, there's some canned food back there for when Marley has his dental done. Um, I know for sure he's going to have, I don't know where he is. There he is over there. <laughs> I know for sure he's going to have one big molar in the back taken out. And he may have to have a couple other teeth uh, pulled out. So I always keep some canned food in the cupboard in case I need it for situations like that. So those are back there. Um, getting rid of my Instapot or I'm going to sell it. Getting rid of this handheld blender that has never left the box and I think I've had it in my cupboard for over two years. That's going, this cheese, cheese grater's going. I don't grade my own cheese. I know a lot of people like it. I know they say you shouldn't get the shaved cheese already, but I buy the already shaved cheese. So I don't use that. That's probably sat in my cupboard for two years too. I just don't use it. <laughs> Um, and then this container I'm getting rid of. This used to hold kittens cat food. When I had a cat food container, a puppy food container, and a dog food container. Well, I've moved kittens cat food over to the size that I used to keep the puppy food in. Right here. And then the dog food's in this. So I don't need that anymore because no more puppies. <laughs> Max, what is in your beard? You have a beard ornament. What is that? What, what is in your beard? <laughs> what is this? Let me get it. See, his beard's messy too. What is this? It's like a little piece of black tape. Where did you get that? Where did you find this? This is a piece of tape. <laughs> yes, yeah, schnauzers get beard ornaments all the time. Um, Yeah, no more puppies. I... I don't foresee any more puppies in this household. These are gonna be our six dogs. These are our six dogs for the rest for the rest of their lives and I don't foresee any more. Um, but never say never, right guys? Um, so yeah, my kitchen is now all clean. Uh, I cleaned the floors and now I need to move out to this room here. I gotta get rid of the Chewy.com boxes and finish up some laundry, clean the floors out there. And then hopefully, what time is it now? It's almost two o'clock. Hopefully, these guys will be done moving that dirt and filling in by the um, fire pit and get out of here. Because these boys need to go potty, don't you? You guys need to go potty, don't you? Yes. And I haven't fed them. I usually feed them around 1. It's 1.49. But I know if I feed them, they're going to want to instantly go outside. Because I always let them outside after I feed them. So, I've been holding off. Because look at over here. See? We've got two that already want to go out. So, I may have to hook them up, get their harnesses on, and walk them around the front yard. Just to let them go pee until they can finish up. So, alright. We'll be back. Well guys, I took a little nap and look what I woke up to. I woke up to a finished fire pit. Thank goodness. <laughs> I'm so happy that they are out of my backyard and the boys are too. Yes, so happy, but it looks it looks really good. I'm happy. I wish it wouldn't have took it, uh, taken so long, but it's finally done and looks great. So I think, um, next year my husband wants to replace the we want to replace the deck because these boards are all they're rotting um and i think we're gonna put that um what is that called trex or that plasticky wood um maybe not we might just use regular wood but i told him i don't want these railings anymore and uh 
so I can see out to the yard. This blocks my view when I'm sitting up here outside with the boys if I want to sit up under the shade here. Um, so yeah, I don't want railings anymore. Um, now, if we ever sold this house and it had to have railings, we'd throw some up, but I do not want railings. He does, I don't. We'll see what happens. But I think when we replace the deck, we're gonna make a um, uh, paved walkway out to the fire pit too, um, down from the steps to get out there instead of walking on the grass. But that will come when the porch gets fixed. It's gonna be like this for now. Um, I can see many a nights enjoying a fire and sitting around and talking and laughing. So I'm glad it's done. Um, but I do need to get out in the garage or in this shed and see if we have some more of this um, hay or straw, whatever you want to call it, and put it on top of this grass seed. Because I, I can already see when the boys ran out here, they're trampling it. So it needs to get some of this on top of it so we can grow the grass. So I need to do that. Um, I'm going to end the video here. Oh, I was going to say too, I um, scheduled the doctor's appointment for tomorrow. Magnum, what are you doing? Sorry to yell in your ears, guys. No. No, you poop eater. I gotta clean the landmines. Uh, schedule the doctor's appointment for tomorrow at 3 um, to talk to my doctor. Uh, let him know what's going on. Um, and it's not, half, it's not hot flashes, guys. It's not because I'm suffering from hot flashes. Thankfully, I'm not. Um, some other things that are going on, so... My mom never, she says she never had trouble with hot flashes, so I'm hoping I take after her and I don't suffer from the hot flashes. <laughs> it's just, it's other things. So, yes, I made an appointment so I can see her tomorrow. So, probably won't check in again and uh, until Wednesday. So, I hope everybody had a great start to their week today, this Monday, and we will talk to you later. Bye-bye.